Hello and welcome back to Berserker's Den. Today I will be showing you how to make this. A toffee caramel brochet. Now, before we start, I have to make a little bit of a confession. When I started this, I didn't know there was a difference between Imperial gallons and US gallons. So that would be why there's been a large difference in the alcohol percentages in the past few brews that I've done. But I've made a bit of a formula and I've worked out how I can change that for UK gallons. And I've implemented that into this brew and believe me, you really want to stick around for this one. Okay, so looking at our recipe book now for the US version of this, for the US gallons, we will be needing 2 grams of Lalvin K1V1116, 2.5 grams of GoFirm, 3.82 pounds of orange blossom honey. And as always, I highly recommend you check this book out for yourself. So to convert that now into the UK gallons, which I will be using, I will need 4.58 pounds of orange blossom honey, 3.82 So as you can see, I've measured out my honey and now I'm going to pour it into a large stock pot. You need this pot to be about 2 to 3 times the size of the volume of honey that you're going to be using as honey, when it's heated up, will foam up. So first you want to put that down to a low boil and keep stirring it around. Just a little important note, honey can boil over and it goes a lot faster than you think. So once you see it start boiling, you need to keep stirring it and keep an eye on it. This clip has only been sped up to twice the speed of the original video, so you can see for yourself how quickly it films up. After about 20 to 30 minutes, you'll notice that the colour has changed from an, a bright orangey honey to a dark toffee colour, and that is exactly what we're looking for. You will also notice the smell has changed and it'll smell slightly toffee. While that's cooling down in the other room, we're going to make our yeast starter. Our yeast starter is just a simple formula of 100 ml of warm water, 2 grams of our yeast, and 2.5 grams of GoFirm. GoFirm is just a yeast feeder which will help uh, the yeast colonize and grow while we're waiting. If you go over a little bit like I did just then, don't worry about it. You stick that into your warm water. And you just give it a stir around. Until it's all dissolved. Once that's dissolved and you've got yourself a nice creamy texture, 
You just want to set this aside for 15 minutes. In this next part now, what we're going to do is we're going to add our must to our fermentation vessel. For the purpose of demonstration today, I'm going to be using a one gal glass fermentation vessel. Once we're done, I'm going to be transferring it into a 10 gal plastic bucket, which at the moment has all my sanitized equipment in. So the way I'm going to do this, so I'm just going to get a jug. I'm going to pour it in with my funnel. If you're using a bucket straight off the bat, you can just pour this straight into your bucket. Doing it this way helps give us a nice foamy head, which is a good indication of having oxygen into our must. which we need for the yeast to grow. I can still feel the heat coming from this and you might be able to see the steam coming up. So, we'll bef so this needs to cool down to room temperature before we can add our yeast. In order to help aid the cooling down of our must, I filled up a little bit of a demijohn with cold, te uh, cold water. So we're just going to add that to our fermentation vessel. I can still feel that it's warm, and I can see on the temperature. It's way off what it needs to be. Another way you can help cool this down is by getting yourself a fermentation bucket, just a one gal fermentation bucket. Fill it to about there with uh, cold water and then just put your glass one in. The water will rise around it and it'll help cool your mass. Okay, now that it's cooled down to room temperature, we can take our hydrometer reading. This will find out our original gravity, and we need this to work out the difference to find out what our ABV is at the end. To do this, I'm gonna take a little sample into our test tube. The fact that it's lifted already is showing it is quite high. In fact, it's not even showing me the number on the hydrometer. Okay. So, I'm going to take a bit of an educated guess and say that this line here, which is almost equal to them two, is 130. So, if I drop it in again, I'm going to take an educated guess and say 1.134, which is two points more than the buff. So the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bong in. I'm just going to give it a shake, just to get that air back into it. Give it a nice foamy head again. Off, back on. This time I'm using a sealed one. Gives the thumb a bit of a rest. And I don't get a spray when I take my thumb off it. You want to do this a few times just to get the air into it. And fingers crossed, I won't drop it like last time. Once that's all shook up, you want to come back to our yeast starter mix. 
give it a bit of a swirl. And just pour it in. Put your bung back on. Just give it a swirl just to get it all mixed in. Add a teaspoon or two of Thermado, which is a, uh, a yeast feeder. This will just help the yeast get a good start along with our go firm. I just added a heaped tea, uh, teaspoon. Long back in. <laughs> Mix it around again. And then the last bit. Pop on an airlock. Thank you everyone who's come along and watched the video today. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe and a nice comment down below. It's the best way to support this channel. I can't wait to come back to this one and finish it off, but I might have to wait a little bit longer. So until next time, cheers!